Having the availability to be able to go ahead and add lower thirds and banners instantly increases the production of your broadcast. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how without any technical knowledge, with a few clicks of a button, you can have lower thirds and banners that are customized to fit your brand. So let's go ahead and jump into my EVMUX account so you can see how easy this really is. Here we are inside of my EVMUX account and what you're currently looking at is the live stream editor. And in just a few steps, I'm going to show you how to take your live stream from looking like this to looking like this in just a few steps. So let's go ahead and begin. So the very first thing that we want to go ahead and do is we want to go ahead and create some animated lower thirds. So to be able to do this, you want to come to the left hand side under graphics, select the brand settings, and then you're going to be able to see an option to toggle on lower thirds. So once you go ahead and done that, you're going to see there's going to be a few options available for you. So you can select one of the examples that's already provided and you can see how beautiful and clean and minimalistic that is. But you can also go ahead and take it a step further and utilize the EV Monks customizer. So to utilize a custom, go ahead and click on custom. It's going to go ahead and bring up a window with the editor. And now the very first thing that you're able to do is you're able to go ahead and access any of the animated lower thirds that we already have provided for you by going to the right hand side, selecting change type. And you're going to see the several options that we've provided. Now you can go ahead and look through these and select the one that fits best. So I'm going to go ahead and select one. And now here on the left hand side under settings, we're going to be able to take the customizations a little bit further. So you're able to go ahead and select if you want there to be a delay before the lower third appears, if you want the lower third to always show if you want it to hide after five seconds or repeat after eight seconds you can decide on what size you want it you can go all the way as as much as a hundred as low as zero and then you can go ahead and change the main color and the secondary color and then you're also able to go ahead and change the position of it to be able to go ahead and adjust it to your liking so once you go ahead and got that set up you can see here now that the lower third is appearing and it was only took us a few clicks to be able to accomplish that but it doesn't stop there you also have the option to be able to start adding banners that also enhance the look and feel of your production. So you can come in here and add a primary text and a secondary text, and that's going to look a little bit like this. So this gives you the ability to be able to go ahead and add topics to be able to address certain questions, but you can also go ahead and create a scrolling lower third that looks like this. And the best way to be able to do that is to go ahead and create your primary text and then make sure that you select ticker and that's what creates the effect of it scrolling on the bottom of the screen. Screen. Now you can take the customizations a step further from there by going to brand settings and then you're going to be able to change the theme and the layout. So let's say I don't like the gradient, but I want to go round it. You can see here that I can start to change this and it changes the look and feel of my production. Let's say that I want to change my primary color to red so it could be more on brand. You can see here how seamless everything changes so that it's all cohesive and looks the same. And once again, there's no technical knowledge needed here. It's simply a few clicks of a button and picking the right colors and you can see how I improve the production. So then you take a look at also the availability to add banners that are comments. This not only creates more engagement for your live stream, but it gives you the opportunity for people in your audience to be able to see themselves live on the production. And at the same time, you can see that it's clean, minimalistic, and you have the option to be able to go ahead and change the look and feel of this based on what you like to see. And just like that, you can see how easy it was to be able to enhance the look and feel of your production by adding animated lower thirds, but it doesn't stop there. Go ahead and watch the next video where I'll show you how you can take advantage of a green screen inside of EVMUX to improve the look and feel of your background. And if you found value in this video and you want to learn more by improving the quality of your live streams using EVMUX, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. I'll see you in the next one.